Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve a problem set 0 playback speed. So in this problem we want to implement a program in Python that prompts the user for uh, input uh, and then outputs the same input that the user provided but replacing each space in this uh, input with three periods. So uh, what we are going to do here uh, is first take input from a user. Let's call, uh, let's make a variable and call it message. And to take in input from user, we use the input function. And here we can uh, uh, provide a message for the user. So for example, okay, that's not supposed to be happening. Okay, my bad. Yeah, and the message uh, message could be uh, uh, anything like uh, enter a message. And that's uh, that's it. So yeah, and uh, at the end we want to print this message, but we want to make some edits on this uh, message that the user will provide. Uh, for example, if the user uh, inputs uh, my name or hello world, okay, let's make a comment. If that's the, if that's the uh, user's uh, input, we want the output to be like this. Hello, but every space uh, is replaced by three dots, just like that, without changing anything else. So to do this, we actually have uh, a method in uh, Python called uh, replace. So we can make uh, we can put it uh, right after uh, we take the input from the user, and it has two parameters. Uh, the first parameters is uh, what do you want to replace. So we want to replace every space, and the second parameter is what uh, should be uh, replaced. So we want to uh, replace it by three periods. So this should work now. Okay, so let's uh, give our program a try and see if you are getting if you are getting what you are expecting. And let's uh, try on hello world. And yeah, that's great. Three periods are replaced. So let's uh, make uh, try another example. Let's try hello world, but this time with a comma. And it's also working. But let's try uh, if we don't have any spaces. Okay, great. Nothing changes, uh, just as we expected. And if you if you're not familiar with uh, uh, this style, so let's actually make it in another line, just uh, to see if it will work as uh, before. So let's um, call the method replace and do the same. Okay, let's see if it's going to work, and it should, and it didn't. So because it uh, actually doesn't, we doesn't, we don't return anything uh, here. So what I mean by that, we need to assign. Okay, sorry for this. We need to assign the return uh, from this uh, method to a value or to a variable. I mean, so what we can do here is to. Uh, reassign the variable message to the return of this uh, method here. So if we try again, now it will work. So yeah, as you can see, it's working right now. Uh, the reason it uh, worked uh, up uh, above here, uh, up here, because uh, the return from these two statements, this and this, uh, was assigned to the message variable. And yeah, that uh, was. Uh, the problem so yeah uh, that's the end of today's video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time